Welcome back, episode 26. And uh, I forgot, I did finish up the changes that I wanted to make to the main base. I still haven't done anything with the wheat farm, so... Uh, I, I know I've got to do that soon. Um, but, let's see. Yeah, I've got... I cleared out all of the stuff from down here, and I believe you saw my, my bed thing last time. Um, and I moved all of the stuff up to the third floor. Second floor looks largely the same, except I put the lights in up here, and I added a, a row of lights over here, because I figured, eh, why, why put it all on the ceiling? I mean, let's have some, some variation here. And, oh, right, I did this, just because I felt like it could use more light, so I put one on the floor, and it was still a little dark, so I put two there, and I was like, you know what? Let's put a little archway around it, and I think it looks cool. Um, oh, yep. Oh, it's good, it's nighttime too, I'll, I'll be able to show you at night. Um, I know there's a zombie around here somewhere, so I'm going to run out, just in case he's above me. Oh, he's up there. But I have my bow, which apparently now the bows have durability, which I didn't know, so... Um, that's cool. I have so many arrows that I can just shoot whatever I want. There is an achievement for killing a skeleton at, like, 50 meters or something, but that's nearly impossible, I swear. Um, anyway, so, yeah, I put out some little light post things here just to brighten the place up. Um, I was having trouble deciding where to put them because, you know, on, on this side, I feel like they would look better just because they're, it, this walkway kind of groups them in with the with my home just because they're on this side of the walkway um, as is the rest of my home it's almost like a, a surrounding barrier kind of thing but over here they were too close to the wall and I didn't like that um, and uh, so I, I wish I had come out at, at a better time than almost morning but you know um, what are you gonna do so Let's see, um, there we go, I don't know, it, it was bothering me, um, <laughs> so yeah, I added those and I thought that looked cool, and then, nope, I hit the button on the inside, jeez, I don't know why I do that so much, I just assume that I closed the door, I guess, I don't know, anyway, so up here, I brought all of my stuff, and it's got the light on the floor, because it comes through the ceiling from downstairs. I've got all my stuff here, which I actually cooked up a bunch of iron, so I can collect that now. Um, uh, these are all just like my workbench, my work, my work chests. <laughs> um, I don't really know how to explain that. I'll make those into better groupings later, into the iron blocks later. I had a little viewing area. I don't know what I was doing when I did. I really wish I'd come up here at night because I thought it would look cool. I haven't seen it at night yet. Um, I thought this was cool. I liked how this little area was centered. You know, there's two from each wall. And um, I wanted some little seating area things. You can just you just come over here and sit and uh, look all awkward. I kind of look creepy, don't I? All right. Anyway, <laughs> um, goggles block my eyes. So, but yeah. So I don't I don't know what a, what about this stuff. It just it blended in with the walls too much without some kind of something behind it. I might just like replace this all with wool even just so that it's got a nice little floor. Um, and then just, like, put netherrack here and let it on fire. I don't know. Because uh, nothing here is flammable, so... Don't worry, not all of my houses are going to be like this where it's all gray stone and everything. It's just this one. So I'm, I'll try to change it up in different biomes. Like, you know, Desert One will be sandstone. Possibly partially underground, because I made one like that before, and it was really cool. So, um, yeah. Uh, anyway, I'll get back down... I'll do whatever I need to do up here, and I'll get back down to that trap before this episode is over. So, yeah. I'll be right back, and I'll see you in a couple seconds. God, I said that like four times. Anyway, I'll see you in a couple seconds. Okay, guys. After a very long time of trying, I, uh, I've been gone for like an hour here. And, uh, after a very long time, I've got spiders coming up here. Now, I could also bring the skeletons up here if I really wanted to, but I don't because, um, I've just been killing them on and off as they popped in, so. Um, as I was working around here, they kept spawning, so I just kept killing them all. Um, spiders all group up here. It's basically, okay, well, I'll kill them all. I've got a kill switch on these ones, too. It's this block just pops out of the wall, kills them all. 
And then, are any more going to come in? Oh, there's one down there. There might be one still in the, uh... No, we're good. Alright, yeah, they just, uh... They come in here, and the current pushes them in. The current does go all the way to this block so that it doesn't stop. As soon as they hit this one, they float up into this current. And that just pushes them over here. And then when they die, their stuff falls down here, which gets pushed this way, and down a hole into a collection bin. Um, so, yeah. Because I tried originally just dropping them down a hole, but they wouldn't go down the hole, they'd just climb back up it. Um, and see, I can hear skeletons still falling behind me. Even though the spiders aren't. And the spider thing should be closer, I don't understand it. Um, but yeah, so the falling didn't work. And I was trying to cover up the hole, but then I couldn't get more than one at a time, because the other one would just stay there and clog up the hole. So instead I was like, you know what, let's go up then. Because I know they'll climb, and I know they'll swim up. So, because I tried having a downward water current, pushing them downwards, because I thought they fixed it so that mobs couldn't swim up currents. But apparently that's wrong, because they can, and they do. So, um, that downward current did nothing, and they just kept swimming up. So, um, instead I was like, well, then let's make them go up. So now they swim and climb up, so they do, it. if there's only one or two, then they'll just, like, one will fall down there. But they'll keep, once there's a couple of them, and they get up here, they'll stay there. And, uh, because they get clumped up together, and then they just stay there. I don't know why, but they do. So, it works. Um, <laughs> fortunately, this area's a little crowded over here. I may just, like, I should just, like, turn this stairway this way, so that it, so that when you're coming down the stairs, you come down here, and then go down, and then take another left here. And, yeah, all the stuff comes out here. The kill switch doesn't give you, um, spider eyes, unfortunately. So... I can't farm them without using a sword, but that's okay. I don't really want any. I have enough. I have enough of them in my chest up top. Um, but yeah, so I hooked that up. There's just a piston back here, and I hooked it up to the switch up there, so that both of them will go off at the same time. So that my flip one, both go off. And there's more skeletons down here because they just spawn whenever I'm in this general area apparently. Um, because like this isn't even the. Well, I guess I am kind of close. Three. I guess I'm closer than that one. So, but I think that one's actually higher than that one. So I don't. I don't understand it. But yeah. So anyway, um, that's uh, that's it. Now I can just, if I need arrows, I can just come up here, pull that, listen for the bones to stop, or listen for the the dying skeletons to stop dying, and then just run on over. It saves me a lot of lag because the oh my inventory's full. Because the, um, trying to kill things, uh, when there's way too many of them, especially if you're trying to look at them, because once it tries to draw them, it makes it even worse, um, it lags a lot. So just having a switch that I can pull where I don't even have to look at them, I can just pull the switch and have them all die, um, it really saves me a lot of trouble. And even without that, Save me a lot of trouble with lag, because for some reason, in there, if I cross, like, that back third of the room, I just get terrible lag spikes. I don't know why, but it's always, like, watch, it'll happen when I walk over around here. Right there. Lag. Lag, 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 lag. Still lag. Yep, yeah, okay, maybe that's the thunder going. But, uh, yep, I'm still lagging. And there we are. So, for some reason... This area here, just whenever I cross, like, this line, oh, there was a little bit, not a whole lot, I get lag, and it's terrible lag. So, um, I don't have to cross that now, because they're delivered to me, and I can just run down and get the skeletons down there, which I don't mind running back and forth that much, as long as I don't have to go through that lag and trying to run around catching all the, um, because here I can just stab them all, and they drop their experience orbs, which usually just float right up to me. I don't have to wait, uh, you know, I don't have to, for most of them, I don't have to run down there. But the water current will drag them along and bring them all the way down there if I should miss some up here. See, one alone will fall, but a bunch together will stay up. And then the stuff just drops out down here, and I can pick it up. See, there's a few experience arms. Okay, so that's, uh, 
that's that. I'm glad I finally got this working the way I wanted it to, because it was really annoying me. Um, I do have to go in there, though, and fix one thing, because the... I don't want water to pour out around my feet. Oh, that lag. Um, I added another row here so that it would be an even number across, and that means that I need to go in and fill that row all the way up to the top. But I can do that off camera, it doesn't really have any bearing on it. And that's why one of those spiders had full health, I think. Actually, no, he should have still taken full damage if he landed on it. I don't know why he had full health. Anyway, that's rare, so we're good. And I have to go. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.